I'm Greg with Greg's Airbrushing and today I'm going to show you guys how to do some script lettering using the whole alphabet. We're going to jump right in. Okay, so as you can see, I haven't done anything fancy. I just laid out with quick open and close, thick and thin, strokes, uh, A through D. Uh, the reason why I'm even doing this is because uh, one of the comments made to uh, our, our uh, tutorial was uh, on YouTube was a young man by the name of John T. He mentioned he'd like to see the whole alphabet in several different fonts. So today we're going to do script and of course uh, the next day uh, we'll do a uh, brush stroke or a bubble letter. So as I was saying, we are going to talk about certain letters that are harder to do in script. As you can see, very simple, uh, open and shut as it pertains to these particular letters. If you want to thick and thin the letter, we can go back over the D just that easy. See how I colored it in? Very easy. Okay. E, very pretty letter if it's done right. Remember, this area here, make sure your spacing is good and you'll be just fine. F, F is one of those letters that, if not done correctly, will hurt you. As you can see, as I was laying it out here, just keep it simple because you don't want this capital F to start to look like another letter. Keep it very simple until you master a way that works for you. G. Okay, so with the G, uh, we had uh, air pressure go down on us in the back, so I wanted to turn the compressor back on. As you can see, I had some speckling right here, and I readily identified it. So when you see something like this, remember it has to do with your air pressure or there's a clog in your airbrush or something like that. Uh, I knew it wasn't with my airbrush, so I immediately checked my air compressor and uh, fixed the problem. So I'm going to go back into the G, and as you can see, it's uh, the air pressure is a lot better. Okay, so we're going to redo these letters again. Okay, now this G, it's very hard to do when you first start out. So you might want to do this G here. Now that's okay if you're doing script. It's, it's acceptable because I'm going to just write out my name here. And as you can see, it looks like it fits here. So uh, that right there is fine. What I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to thick and thin these same letters. So if you write thin, sorry about that, we'll go over here. Okay. I see my airbrush spitting up, so I'm going to clear it. I'm going to make sure that the air hole on top is free of any debris. All right, spray is a lot better. And I'm going to put my back back on my uh, needle and go right back into it. Look at how I'm doing the A. Just open and close. If you can do the dagger stroke, you can do any letter. Okay, now let's do the B. Baseline. We'll curl at the end. Now I've seen B's done 
several different ways. You can do this here, okay, or do this here with no till, okay. But as you can see, you can add a till to it if you want. The lowercase b, just like this here, okay. And as you can see, I didn't add as much paint to this one here as I did to this one, okay? I purposely did that so you guys could see that level of control. And if I want to thick and thin it, I can, okay? All right, so let's try to see. See, very easy to do. It's just a confident stroke. I do see C's sometimes that are more stretched out. If that's what you want to do, that's fine. But it's a confident stroke, okay? And you're going to make a better C by using your shoulder, okay? And it's not about speed, okay? It's not about speed at all. It's about technique, okay? You can add the little tail to it. Or you can just leave it off, whatever you want to do. And again, we're keeping the air on at all times. The D. Okay. Okay, nothing too hard to do, kind of like your B, just backwards, okay? Or like your A, but a circle, okay? So now, we're going to just move up here to show you the E since we have some free space up here. The E is very simple to do, just watch your spacing. And remember, I told you I talked to you about thickening and thinning. Okay. Let's try it again. Okay. Here's the F. Okay. and the G. Okay, or you can do the G like this here. Okay. This here is acceptable as it retains to cursive writing or script writing because this G here is very hard to do just starting out. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is just going to go right into finishing the rest of the alphabet. Okay, the Q is one of those letters that you just have to draw out. There's really no writing to the Q. You're really drawing this out. We're going to try it one more time. You could do S like this here. 
or like this here. That's not good. And that's like this here, it's more traditional. But this here is acceptable writing in cursive because you can go roll right into the name. Okay. The T. U. V. W. The X is another letter that you're just going to simply draw out. The Y is a letter that you really have to watch out your spacing between here and here. Make sure they don't look like this here. Because you can't tell what the letter is. Okay? Or it's not too low like that. Watch your spacing. so that we know what it is. The Z, no one really writes like this anymore. Okay, you don't see this on too many shirts. So this right here is acceptable for the G, or excuse me, for the Z, for the letter Z. Okay, letter Z again. So hopefully this right here helps you. Uh, John, I want to thank you for uh, making a comment on our page. Uh, please, everyone else out there, subscribe to our page and ask us uh, whatever it is that is troubling you, whatever you're struggling with. Ask us something about it. We'll get right on it and put some video out there for you to help you learn. Talk to you soon.